Despite having a variety of all-electric ID badge cars to pick from, the mass market was still missing an affordable electric Volkswagen. The solution to that problem has appeared now in the form of the new Volkswagen ID2 entry-level hatchback. The production version of the ID2 has been previewed by the ID2 All Concept, which is Volkswagen's first take on the MEB Entry project. The MEB Entry is the latest evolutionary stage of the MEB platform and is designed to support smaller, cheaper vehicles. So let me tell you everything you need to know about this all new small electric car. The design of the ID2 All Concept represents Volkswagen's new design language based on the three cornerstones of stability, sympathy, and enthusiasm. The front end and profile could easily pass for those of Volkswagen's conventionally powered Super Mini, although there is a single strong crease running along the flanks and the rear door handles are hidden behind the rear windows. There is a thin LED light bar at the front and also at the rear of the car. And I really like how the Volkswagen badging at the rear is illuminated red to blend in with the tail lights. There's also a fresh interpretation of the signature C pillar from the Golf, which is a strong hint that the concept may not carry the ID badge in production form. The ID2 is actually shorter than the current Volkswagen Polo, but it has 50 mm more wheelbase. And we already know that the Polo is a very spacious car in its segment. So this means while the ID2 might not take much room on the road, this small electric car promises to offer a very spacious cabin for five passengers. Plus, it has a flat floor. There is a novel 50 liter storage area beneath the rear seats and Volkswagen says while this lockable compartment has been conceived to house the charging cables, it could also be ideal for items like laptops, allowing them to be charged while they are stored. Another impressive number on the new ID2 is its boot capacity. It's 440 liters, which is nearly 60 liters more than the ID3. And if you fold down the 60-40 split rear seats, then the boot space will increase to a whopping 1330 liters. And on top of all that, the ID2 also has an extra luggage compartment under the boot floor, which can fit at least two crates of beer. The big change here is that the ID2 All is the first MEB based Volkswagen with front wheel drive. And it makes use of the less complex torsion beam rear suspension design to not only cut costs but also to improve practicality, like that increased boot space. The ID2 All has a top speed of 160 km per hour, and the concept's single electric motor produces 220 horsepower, which takes the car from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 7 seconds. The battery pack will come in two sizes. 38 and 56 kilowatt hours. Volkswagen says that it expects a WLTP range figure of around 450 kilometers for the larger pack and that DC charging will take the battery pack from 10 to 80 percent of its capacity in around 20 minutes thanks to a peak charging capacity of 125 kilowatts. The ID2 might be pitched as a more affordable ID offering but that doesn't mean it won't come with some clever practicality solutions and impressive technology. Newer Volkswagen models received a lot of criticism for the touchscreen heavy approach and so Volkswagen is all set to make amends. The new interior has a row of backlit physical buttons for the climate controls and a rotary dial on the central tunnel to control the 12.9 inch infotainment touchscreen, much like BMW's iDrive. That's a significant improvement in usability over the poorly received touch sensitive multifunction panel in the current ID lineup. The touch sliders on the steering wheel also get replaced by rotating thumb wheels and just four regular buttons. And in another small but significant move away from the ID3's interface, there are four electric window controls for the driver, instead of just a pair and a friend or rear selector. There's also a revolution in terms of materials used, as Volkswagen is looking to face out hard plastics, glue, leather and chrome. Almost every surface in the ID2 All is soft to the touch, mixing fabrics and Alcantara as part of its sustainability push. The new 10.9 inch digital driver display is mounted on the dashboard, unlike the other ID models where it's mounted onto the steering column itself. A cool feature is that you can choose between eras of Volkswagen cars as themes for the touchscreen displays. 
There is a windage mode designed to mimic the dash of an old golf, a classic mode which apes the readouts of the original Beetle, and a modern mode to reflect the latest design thinking for the ID2. The gear selector has also been moved to a stock mounted on the steering column, again a simpler solution than the ID3's dash integrated rocker switch. Of course, the most exciting thing about the all-new ID2 is its pricing. It's expected to be less than 25,000 euros. For context, that's almost 15,000 euros less than the 2024 Volkswagen ID3 facelift. When it arrives in 2025, the Volkswagen ID2 will rival the likes of the Peugeot E208 and Vauxhall's Corsa Electric plus the upcoming Renault 5 EV. Let us know your thoughts about this new small electric car from Volkswagen and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Until we meet again, drive safe. Adios.